Hey everybody, Hector is here. Welcome back. Neo Scavenger. Part 9. Yeah, that last episode was almost two parts in one. But uh, here we are. We're here at this place where I almost... I thought I lost my sled, but everything went over to the campsite. Which terrified me there for a minute. Because I thought I'd lost it. Oh, banana shirt. Nice. Cargo pants inside of cargo pants. And we're just kind of still patrolling around. We're, we're doing pretty well here. Um, collecting foil. Trying to find the recipe. I got a noise trap. I might make another noise trap right here. Well, I got the chance. I think I'm just going to manually make it because it always messes it up whenever I try to. But since I got some good stuff here on the ground. Oh my gosh. I hate the way it organizes stuff. Or disorganizes it, as it were. Use that pill bottle. Use some shards of glass somewhere. Some string. Ah, oh, here we go. This is probably going to be. Here's some shards of glass. 100% shard. I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh. These must be some really special shards of glass. Right, well, we'll use one of those. Get an extra special one. I need one of these. There we go. Not enough free moves, of course. Of course. How many of you were screaming at the screen about that one? But we're going to have two noise traps before I go to bed. At least two. I'll probably make three, actually. Sorry. Should have stayed in that screen. That's where I wanted to be. All right, you go there. Uh, blood thinners, warfarin, you go there. And uh, I need this shards of glass. Here's one. Okay. And then I need one more empty. Can I do, can I do this? Oh, it works. Oh. Yeah. Cool. All right, so I got two of these. Plus the one I already have. And uh, let me do some rearranging here. Let me probably drop that. Yeah, let's do that. Put this over here. Yeah, that seems to work. That works for me. Cool. Yeah, I'm good with that. There's a lot of stuff. What did I leave on the ground? Just want to make sure it was just a dead body, some useless clothes and whatnot. Because that's why I get the little camping uh, icon there. See, it's weird because if you drop your... No, I've, I've dropped my sled before and it's put it over in the on the ground. But I think if there's not enough room, it will put it in the campsite. So that's what's weird about this whole thing. I wonder if I can get the body to disappear. Can I make bodies disappear? Try something. Let's try it like this. It won't let me. No, it won't let me. Try to make, <laughs> try to make him disappear. Poor guy. All right. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's get in here and get some. Oh, it's daytime. Never mind. Do we want to kill this guy or not? He might have something worthwhile. Who knows? All right, let's drop our vehicle. Let's advance towards him. He's barefoot. He's a cultist. He's got a whiskey bottle. Let's kick him. Leg trip him. Let's take him down. He's, he's like a ninja. Why am I so having such a hard time hitting this guy? Oh, I got him that time. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's all down here from here. Downhill from here. And flurry attack. There we go. Man, it took a while to connect with him, though. Well, so, see, this time it put the sled over here. Yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and do it like this. Another sash, which we can use as a bandage. If need be. How much are these sashes worth? 26 cents. Never mind. They're not worth anything. Thought maybe I was onto something there. Mm, another map. It's going to be a Detroit map again. I don't know anything about mushrooms. Not going to mess with them, obviously. Hospital gown. Twinkies! And a cell phone. I kind of want to eat the Twinkies right now, but I'll save them. A uh, piece of meat cured. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to empty out that whole thing just to get a piece of meat. Uh. Oh boy, what do I want to? You know what? How's this cell phone doing? Man, that takes a lot of batteries. If that's what it is. Let's put the blue sash in there. That's what we'll do. That's how we'll handle that. And, oh, that's a good one. Let's go ahead and drink. Drink. Nice. We're doing good. I mean, other than murdering people a lot, we're doing quite well. An abandoned building. Check it out. I can't, I don't have the option to use lockpicks. Um, that's because, uh, I don't have that lockpick skill. That was a lot of stuff for one building. I mean, it looks pretty useless. Destroy that. Some ashes. Somebody had a campfire here recently. Some foil. I think I got a foil stack. Yes, I do. All right, we got 51 pieces of foil now. What's this? Uh... See if we can build anything with our foil yet. Little scraps. Can't do it. Nothing there. Lots of food options. Lots and lots of food options. Maybe it's a maybe it's a tool. Maybe it's considered a tool rather than a no. No. Rather than miscellaneous like clothes. Well, we tried. Let's keep. keep what do we got in the campsite area here? Ah, oh, we'll take that. That's not ours. I need to start checking the campsites for loot. Maybe that. Maybe that's one I left behind. Three noise traps and a... That sounds like me. Three noise traps and a mummy bag. Yep, I bet you this was one of our campsites. Well, we got our stuff back. It worked out okay. I don't think I can fit that in there. No, we gotta twist it. There we go. It's $80 or so. Hello, Bambi. You look delicious today. I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've looted all this already, so I'm just gonna continue up. And where are we gonna go? I'm not really ready to go to Camp Grayling yet, because I can't even... I can't get past her defenses at this point. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll kind of start working our way back this way. And kind of come back this way. And, uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty of loot by then. Oh, that's that's how. Okay. I got gotcha. you. That's that's how you're supposed to do it. What's the matter with me? Burden. Yeah. Make sure I do have my vehicle with me. I do. Good. Okay. Ah, that's an undiscovered city. We're definitely going to search this one. Strike one. Mm, something looks interesting. Oh, it's just the shirt. It's all orange. Broad spear. Yeah, we're destroying you. 19%. Conditions enough to try to kill me while I sleep. Yeah, we get some water here. More water. I'm going to grab this as usual. It's always good to have plenty of water. And, uh, throw it in there. Whatever. Let's see here. Anything interesting in the old newspaper? Drugs for sale. Open air drug markets becoming increasingly common. Site as law enforcement presence dwindles alongside crumbling infrastructure and abandoned negative neighborhoods. It's like Detroit, like today. Many speculate the militarization of these markets. Uh, yeah, okay. What is this? Ice, oh, ice lab advertisement. 
Yeah, firefighting and local law enforcement services being reduced because of economic downturns, hemorrhaging budgets. They're like, ah, waves, potato chips, so irresistible. They're like an eating disorder in a bag. Love it. Very funny. Yeah, okay. Let's keep moving. Zero moves left. Okay, let's head up to this little city. Who's this guy? Who's this chucklehead? Oh, this is this is a dude with a gun. Well, I hope he I hope he decides to come and visit. Cause I want your I want your pistol, man. I need to get good money for those. Great right, things are going. More foil. Take that. Getting close to having a second pile of metal or uh, foil. Any more? I don't think I need more. No, I got plenty of. I might as well take it. Honestly, that's fine. Plenty of little scrap pieces of scrap. I I really don't need any more. Starting to get. Probably need to drop some of this extra stuff that I'm carrying around just because I have the room. This was causing me to be burdened, but I really don't mind. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So on and so forth. I think ours is better. I slab. Ooh, can I turn it on? Sufficient charge. We're gonna have to charge up this battery though. I wanna hack it. I wanna get into this one. I know you can get into these. I've done it before. Droid Rage. What? We're exploring Jupiter? Hold on. Let me read this. Droid Rage Troy Jupiter Group. Oh, maybe it's like a company. Has been dealing with a month long strike. At its mine at Jupiter's L4 supercluster. No. Maybe. And sometimes violent dispute has choked uh, supplies to Earth and cost Troy Jupiter around. Wow, we have been asleep for a long time. Destroy that. You like the string? A DVD worth 10 cents. Well, we're definitely taking that. Alright, let's start filling up this bag. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, because there's no scavenge button and I still have moves left. Okay, I think I'm going to continue this way. I know I haven't, no, I haven't checked this one, but I'm going to keep going this way. Something over here, it looks like. I'm tired, huh? Yeah, we'll keep going. Not much out here. Wilderness. Oh, hello, city. We had a. Oh, I'm like, have we connected back up with Zomzoms? Yeah, in your dreams, man. In your dreams. Right, let's head this way. Sowing the seeds of destruction, Agrisanto Corporation successfully lobbied the dismantling of the Sla Slavbard Seed Vault last Tuesday. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Arguing that the collection of seeds represented a contamination risk from its own line of genetically modified seeds, aggressive marketing, and lobbying pressured the Norwegian government to dismantle the Seed Vault project. Agrisanto seeds are used in over 73% of global agriculture and contamination of even a single strain of the agrisanto seed could devastate food populations worldwide. Uh, it's a bit over my pay grade, but uh, I don't know. 
we really need to be destroying food. Well, oh, we got our house in the woods. Be uh, what time is it? Still daytime. And another baby. Many strangers out this way. Oh, hello, stranger. Do you have a gas mask that I could use? I'm gonna go check this out over here. And it looks like we're suddenly starting to run into some uh, suburbs. So that's nice. What the hell? Uh, no. <laughs> what the? What was that about? Is that from in game? I hope I didn't. That doesn't like cause me to like not be able to save the game or something. Maybe I should have said yes, but if someone's wanting to do something with my computer and I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna say no every time. You know what I mean, guys? If we have to start over, we will. But that was weird. Yeah, let's see here. So we're basically saying here, uh, Detroit can't afford their power and the crumbling infrastructure and. Street lights are going to be turned off here soon. Right, let's see what we can find here with the scrap. Scope with strap. 308 with strap. And, uh, yeah, okay. Got all that. Nothing of value. Okay, we're going to... We're going to allow it. It seems like at the end of every turn it's asking me to do this. I think it's the game. Makes me really nervous when... Because I've never seen that before. Things are going just fine right up until then. I don't see any other blinky lights down here. Now i got a whole other worry about... thing to worry about regarding our survival. Wow. Finally. Yeah, destroy. Destroy. I don't have nearly enough room for you, but I do have a strap finally, but my shotgun's gone. We'll keep it in case we get another shotgun. Stow it like that. That looks looks pretty good to me. Some more foil. Just one piece? Yeah, just one little piece of foil. Let's see what happens now. No message? Okay, I think it's I think it's saving the game now. Not sure. Alright. That looks like a lot of stuff. But maybe we'll get lucky. I gotta figure out how to how to make this tinfoil suit. Might have to read the The wiki for the uh, for the game. Nothing really worthwhile here. Love's doing 71, 13. Let's see how my yeah the dog the dog coat's doing just fine. I should go up and hunt more dogmen. Those are like super profitable. Pays to be a trapper. Okay. Still no problems. All right. That was weird. Did we just get ourselves a... Oh, it's 23% condition boxcar. It's, it's it's really... It's very roomy, though. It's very roomy. I think we're going to have to take the boxcar. This is 27% condition, so it's actually not too bad. A uh, shoe. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take the boxcar. I could probably put the sled in the boxcar. I think we'll do that. Let me destroy all the stuff I don't want. I do want that. That's expensive. Condition 96. Why is it more valuable? Oh, is it the same value? Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. I, I do want that. Um, and I do want this foil. Hold on. Let me put this back for a second until I'm done looting what I want from here. Which I don't think is going to be much. I think it's just a foil. Where'd the foil go? Did I lose the foil? That probably went up here, didn't it? Lost the foil. Oh well, it's just one piece. It's weird. 
I'm going to go ahead and eat this meat here before it goes bad. And this Twinkie. Okay. So, let me destroy all this stuff so I don't get confused and grab the wrong thing. keep that okay so now let's empty this thing out let's move this over here yeah all right we'll put, oh it won't let you oh no why not oh, I want to put you in there I could I could put you in there and have you as a backup and that's so lame oh, so smart I think I can just grab them from... Yeah, I don't have to actually put them on the ground. I think it'll just appear, like, organically. I'm not sure about this one, though. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're... Okay. There we go. Yeah, we can take some firewood with us. There we go. And I'll take this. And I don't have any room in there, really, so... Okay, I, I guess we're okay with that. Fine. Start pushing our cart around. What have we got here? You watch three enclavers climb down a sewer manhole one by one. None climb back out, and each is visibly distressed before entering. There are two left now, and they're agitated. You peer down in the sewer, three enclavers... I'm down or lying at the bottom of the ladder, unconscious or worse. Your nose wrinkles in disgust, rotten egg smell. What? Check to see if they're alive. Tell them they'll be okay if they move fast and don't take take their packs. You'll stand by and keep a lookout. <laughs> Lure them, huh? So I'm using my trapping skill to get that one. Tell them the gas is dissipating and try. to try in a few minutes. Um... I don't have a gas mask. I'm not, I can't go down there. I'm, I'm going to get sick. Commits the remaining enclavers to a slide. Manhole cover back in place. Their friends are gone. Climbing down as a death sentence. Uh, I'm going to tell them that it'll be okay if they move fast. They'll take their packs. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Taking your word on the gas the great, and grateful that you've, you're have you prepared to help. Enclavers slide down the ladder to rescue their friends. You watch, you watch them die. It's so easy. You almost feel giddy. Their packs, oh my gosh. Their packs are heavy, but you drag them off to a nearby building so you can loot them in safety. You pick the wrong building, though. A couple of rebel uh, scum come boiling out of the supply room. Just as you enter, rushing you with crowbars raised, all you can do is drop the packs and run it. Even that's not quick enough. You take a hit as you leave. It aches, but you got to keep moving. Well, I'm going right back in there. What are you talking about? My lower leg was better. I got a slight bruise. Okay. So I'm in pain. Well, that was interesting. Are they coming after me? I think I think these guys are coming after me. Yeah, let's do this. Let's dance. Let's dance. Are these the enclavers? Is this like they're coming back for revenge? Because they sort of like closed all in on me real quick. Fallen. I'm going to drop my cart here. No, I don't want to do that. Stand up. Oh, you got me with a monkey wrench. Oh, no! <gasps> no way! I was not expecting that. Alright, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back up. Let me see here. Oh, he demolished my head. I died of a traumatic brain injury. I have a concussion. 
blue frog. We were on the same team, man. I had the blue sash. Oh, I got to start over. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, boy. Well, we will start over. Uh, I have a little bit different way I'm going to play this. Um, I didn't realize at the start you could instead just use melee. You can use melee and, like, something else. You can actually use multiple skill sets when you fight the dogman at the start. And it gives you, like, a videotape of you, like, beating them up. And you can use that later. So I'm, uh, I'm going to do it that way. And I'll see you guys once I clear Detroit and, uh, or when I get to Detroit and we'll go from there. So, all right, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in the, uh, the next episode. This one's going to be a little bit short, but the, the last one was long. So I think it all sort of balances out, but I'm not giving up. I got too cocky and I paid the price. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. I'm going to do things a little different this time. I'm going to do myopia and insomniac. Do mechanic trapping, melee, and I think maybe tough and hacking. Leave electrician behind. Melee can create. I don't know. Maybe I want to do strong. Have melee, tough, strong, trapping. Let's try that. Got five left. And that's a, that takes. Ooh. Well, like what I could do is I could do metabolism here and then also get electrician. I think if you use strong and melee or melee and tough with the dog man, there's like a bonus, like a video that you get and you can use it to like show how tough you are to people. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this, like the hatter when he wants to give you the mission, but then hesitates or something like that. I used, I don't know if it's still in the game or not. I, I, I remember there being a video where it's like, it just looks awesome. You just, de, you know, just completely demolish this thing and it looks amazing on video. Something like that. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we're well, strong. So we, can, we can use two at the same time. Prepare to kick its ass. Prepare to kick its ass. All right, so, uh, yeah, we'll give this a shot here. You drop in defensive stances, it bursts into the room. The beast stands on its hind legs, has appearance of ragged. Let's see here. Uh, both lunge at each other. The dogman realized, oh, okay, here we go. A combination of your stance and build must really look imposing because the dogman actually looks a bit confused when it sees you and hesitates. You both lunge at each other. Now, see, that's different. Colliding with great force, dogman realizes it's error too late. And you slam it against the door, uh, door jam repeatedly. Its corpse crumbles at your feet. You let loose with an unbridled roar that echoes down the facility's ha halls. Okay, yeah, we totally demolished it, right? So, here it is. Security footage of you kicking the dogman's ass with your bare hands and his corpse. All right, good stuff. All right, so we are sort of a Bruce Lee, Mike Tyson hybrid, sounds like. Okay, that's going to be my, that's going to be my uh, thing. I'm going to leave that here. Nobody's going to steal that. So, all right, cool. First things first, let's go ahead and... Uh, you decide that it was so awesome that you fish through the whole con for, through the console for security footage of it and take it. <laughs> yep. Okay. So that was that. Okay. Let's look at the uh, info there. Climb outside. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna carve this dog man. Carve this up here. I think I'm holding another one, right? I have it in my hand, right? I don't want to lose the 99.1 percent one. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, go back to the crafting screen. Just gonna make sure I wasn't making a, a mistake there. there we go. Carve that up, clear it out, put on the coat. Um, we'll go find ourselves. We'll either make a makeshift sack or find some, some sort of bag to carry some of this in. And I'm just going to kind of move straight up to Zomzoms and not really waste a bunch of time around here. But I uh, we will go down here and make my... Poison berries. I will make my uh, spear first. We need that. We need our hospital gown, and because we want to save our wrist strap, and our 99% shard, and our trapping ability is no melee. That's it. And we get ourselves a 99.1% condition broad spear. There we go. 
Put this in over here. And uh, I think we're done here for now. I'm not even going to cook any of the food. I'm just going to get moving straight away. Because there will be plenty of dogs and things to uh, eat along the way. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's do a little looting here. Hopefully we get lucky. Only three buildings this time. Scavenge brutishly. It's going to take the safety down a little bit, but uh, yeah, so strong zone. It's, it's got to be good, man, because it's got like six pips there, so. All right, we already found something. So we got ourselves a shoe. That on our left foot. So what I discovered with uh, recipes is you just have to put them in your inventory and then take them right back out. I had a, just a horrible, brutal attempt that just sort of ended really quickly in the last one. So, shotgun military with strap. It should now be in our crafting. Shotgun military with strap, there it is. And then what we can do now is just simply take it out, and it should still remain. It should still be there. Yep, it's still there. So, once you put it in your hand, or in your inventory at all, and then you can just take it right back out. You don't need to carry it around everywhere. Like I was before. Okay. Um, what else we got here? We've got 13 of these. I can make a, a sled now. So that will be nice. We got some foil. Um, I need a bag. Oh, there's a bag. Okay, that'll work. Put that on our back. It's in good condition too. 73%. Put that foil in there since that'll fall through the cracks. Um, put a little string in there. A little bit of this string in there. A dog moon shirt. Okay, so I noticed in combat when it had like your char your traits or your characteristics for the combat, you know, like bleeding, coughing, blood, unconscious, uh, that sort of thing, that three dog moon t-shirt was listed and it was in green. So that must mean something like a, like a combat bonus of some kind. I'm not sure how that works, but my goal is to get three of these suckers and uh, triple up in combat for whatever that is. So that's an empty pill bottle, but I'll probably take that just so I can make a noise trap a little bit later. I could make one right now, but I don't feel like it. Because it'll just take up too much space. Oh, and some jeans. Yeah, take that as well. We'll put the pill bottle down here. Keep, kind of keep it out of the way. Right, that looks pretty good. Alright, let's keep uh, keep going here. Now you see, when I do it, just sort of act like a bull in a china shop. My safety goes down a little bit, but the loot does go up. I think the risk is worth it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Unless it start getting hurt like every other time. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to uh, finish off here. I'll see you guys up at ZomZom, see if uh, see what Stoke gives us. And then I kind of want to explore to the north a little bit. And uh, I heard there's like a some sort of base or something up there, like a town or something worth checking out. I think it's where those ATN soldiers or those ATN security guys uh, sort of hang out at. So... That's the plan. I'll see you shortly. All right, so here we are at ZomZom's. I'm gonna scope it out like we did before. Not, I don't think it really matters. Approach the line anyway. Say, huh? Go through this. Stoke inter intervenes on our behalf. Try to leave. That's yes, where he snacks us, I think. There we go. Give him the info. Yeah, we're just gonna give him the info. Oh, we got a bow. I, actually, yeah, I can actually put that on my back, can I? I don't think I have ranged, unfortunately. And a nice computer. Can I turn this on? Ooh, can I use it? Yeah, I can. Um, let's put this somewhere. Let me figure out. Oh, we got a box we can carry stuff around in. That's even better. What I realized was when I went to make my uh, sled, I don't have the mechanics ability in this particular playthrough, so I can't make the... Uh, the wooden sled. I have to find a recipe for it. Then I then I can make it, but uh, as of right now, I can't. We'll switch that boot out for that shoe. That shoe's okay, but not as good as that boot. The makeshift sack. Uh, we'll take the makeshift sack. There we go. And we'll take that lighter for sure. Put that in our pockets. Have a little something to eat here that isn't barbecue. Uh, digital water tester. No, uh, no charges on it. Can't throw that. Uh, you know, I could probably make a. Uh, that's a makeshift sack. Never mind. Let's put the. Let's put that sack on our back. It's 100. percent So I think this will. Take the computer with us. 
the cell phone with us. This does have power, though, so... I want to try to uh, use one of my skills on it here eventually. I need another animal hide in order to make a glove. So maybe we can find one out here somewhere. So I don't have a sled right now, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make do. We got amoxicillin. Nice. We got some antibiotics. I was looting and I got uh, like three cuts, small cuts. One here, one here, and I think one on the arm. Uh, two times like I had a roof collapse and then I got cut on some glass. This separate one. We'll hold on to this. I don't want to eat it right now. And we'll take these three bottles. What we need, really need now is a uh, is a pot, which we, that we didn't get here, so unfortunately. These are cargo pants. Those are better than what we, need, what we have. We'll upgrade. There we go. Still haven't found a uh, hoodie yet with the pockets. But I imagine we will, eventually. So, this is our carry capacity right here. Again, no vehicle. So, alright. Let me, uh, let me see if I can hack that computer right now. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Nanosoft Games. Please choose your desired software from the list below. Uh, downloads? Okay, so I've hacked it, apparently. I think I can use this, but it looks like I've hacked it. I think the price of this should go up. It was like, what was it, 50, 40, 50 bucks, something like that. But now that I've hacked it. Let me see what the laptop's worth now. $79. So that did go up a little bit. 60 per hour. So we're going to go ahead and turn this thing off. Value 75. Maybe that was it. I don't think I can do anything with these. I can't, like, drag these. Oh, I don't have hacking. Never mind. I just turned it on. All right. I thought I had hacking, but apparently it's electrician. All right. No big deal. Well, it's worth some money, but it isn't, it isn't a crazy amount. If we get a chance to get another dogman coat, and it's between this and a dogman coat. I know dogman coat's much bigger, but this is losing out, obviously. Okay. So, that's that. Let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and loot this area here and then head north. And if there's anything up there, I'll uh, I'll see you shortly. All right, guys, still looting around Zom Zom's, but I figured I'd show you this right here. Patchwork foil poncho. So I think this is the recipe we needed to make the poncho to go to Camp Grayling. So I am going to definitely make sure. What does it take here? 20 small thread, 60 small or medium flexible EM reflective sheets, which is the foil, and one sharp point. So um, I don't think I have, well, you could probably use the shard. But yeah, I don't have a I don't have a multi tool yet. So I'm gonna put it over here, and then it should now be in our known recipes somewhere. Here it is, patchwork foil poncho. So we now know the recipe. All right, I'm uh, that guy doesn't look like he has much. I'm gonna keep scavenging here, but uh, I'll see you up north hopefully. All right, guys. Well found something interesting and that's different ferris wheel so i'm not sure what this is but i figured i'd go ahead and record this just in case it turns out to be something interesting i think it might be because these are black dots and i think that indicates points of interest and that just appeared right there i was looking for that atn base up here somewhere but uh found this I'm, maybe that's it i think i might have found it so we'll see let's uh Let's say let's save our game, but that's not an option, is it? All right, who was that? What was that? Hmm, okay. A uh, big old chicken. Area all around Allegheny County Fair is pretty unassuming. Once sleepy neighborhoods with detached homes make up the bulk of the area, with streets lined by aging trees, not much different than any other place you walk by lately. Okay, just a fairground, I guess. Oh, but as you round Delano Street and turn up Park Drive, things start to feel off. One house has some white lace curtains that won't stop moving. Another feature is a gaping hole in the second story exterior wall, as if the wall was sucked in by a powerful force. A third has some sort of menagerie, menagerie or diorama of dolls in the front yard in varying states of decay. 
At the end of the street, a glaring 10-foot rooster statue stands at the leftmost of a series of brick booths that cross what must be the fairgrounds entrance. Roosters, you decide, are creepier when they're twice your size and have an army of disfigured dolls to, as backup. Um, heck, let's go for it. Let's see what it is. Bah, that rooster doesn't scare you. You go in, and you go behind the rooster's back, though. You know, just in case. <laughs> Inside, there are heaps of uh, refuse under sagging canopies. It looks like some sort of antique fair or flea market was interrupted here. Further into the fairgrounds, you spot a, spot a large permanent hall. Sliding hanger doors frame a yawning black entrance over which a hang, hangs a sign, Marketplace Exhibitors Building. No telling what that, when that rooster will make his move, so you probably shouldn't tarry here long. Check out the tents. Do the fairgrounds. Check out the hall. Uh, look, for, look for signs of a trap. Yep, this place would make for an excellent trap. Scavenger's bait. Lots of blocked sight lines and lack of animal activity. That covers just about all the checkboxes on your list. No telling. Okay, so. Well, let's go in since we checked it out for traps. I'm assuming that we cleared it. Okay. They exi wow, that's a lot of lighters. Oh, those are mine. Never mind. I can use that. Okay. Uh, examine a booth. Examine a large cardboard box. The exhibitor's hall looks about as foreboding as it does promising. The same roof that has protected the building's contents all these years also blocks any sight lines or any light from getting in. Might as well be entering a cave, passing through the doorway. Your nose is assailed by the stench of stale perspiration, urine, and rotten teeth. The air feels stagnant, thick. The sounds of the outdoors becomes muffled, punctuated by the ticking and popping of the metal structure. They paint a picture, man. You can see some of the tables and booths in the ambient light from the doorway. But shadows pull further back towards the halls. Wow, the writer in this is excellent, isn't it? Pile of blankets with rags. Further into shadows. Shine a light to see better. Yeah, let's do that. Holding a torch above your head, you strain to see into the recesses of the halls. Most of the halls are filled with folding tables and booths. Signage, signage advertises vendors and craftspeople from a bygone era. And most of their wares appear to be scattered about, though not taken. An inordinate number of tables seem to be covered or surrounded in blankets, though. And that's when you notice it. One of the blankets moves. A frustrated grunt is uttered from one of the hall's corners, and it immediately is followed by a pitched moan. Uh, grab something heavy and clear a path. Climb towards the rafters. Grab something he heavy. Uh, try to light some blankets on fire. Wow, that sounds unnecessary. Uh, let's use our strong skill since that's the highest level special skill we have. The bastards might have moved in to block your exit, but that doesn't mean you can't unmove them. Grabbing a wooden drawer from a nearby furniture stall, you rush forward using it as a shield to bash your way through. You know, those little buggers eager to try to get a wood wood sandwich and a headache, to try you gets a wood sandwich and a headache for their trouble. When you reach the door, three of the melon heads, oh, melon head camp. Lie in your wake, cerebral fluid spurting amidst the braze of, a of agony. The rest of the throng is unfazed, though, and your drawer, drawer skills, formidable as they are, won't even those odds. It's time to go. Let's see what we got. Nothing much here. Kind of want to go back. Seems like a bad idea. Let's re enter. Unfortunately, things are pretty stirred up from your last visit. Melonhead activity is at an all-time high. It's best you steer clear for now. Okay. All right, it's said for now. Doesn't mean forever. That was interesting. Where are we at? See, I thought this was probably... Maybe... Yeah, I figured I'd... Said the ATN base is, like, north of uh, Zomzoms, but I guess... I guess north keeps going, right? Yeah. Okay. And we have the glow over here. I haven't found a map yet. I think I have found a map. I just haven't looked at it to determine it's Detroit. This is... Oh, wow. This assembled DMC drone, drone records. Oh, well, we're going to learn how to do that. I saw a dog man over here. And I left him because I didn't have anywhere to put his hide. Which is awesome for trading. But then immediately I found uh, in one of my... The next places I looted, I found a sled. So I attached two pieces of string to the sled. It's in 28% condition. We'll keep our eyes open for a better one. But now I'm pulling a sled, which is kind of nice. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't see the dog man. He sort of disappeared. 
And I'm pretty tired, so. All right, where am I at? There we go, let's get centered up there. All right, I think I wanna go explore this down here and then maybe find somewhere to sleep for the night. I don't even have a sleeping bag yet, I don't think. Do I, did I pick one off a of body? I don't, no, I don't think I did. Yeah, I haven't found one yet, okay. But I got enough to make noise traps and all that. Unfortunately, I am an insomniac, so it would be nice to have a big, comfy uh, sleeping bag. I found one of the huge ones, the cotton ones or de whatever, down ones. But I c didn't have enough room to carry that beast. So I used it where it was at and uh, got a good night's sleep and I just had to leave it behind. Okay. Let's scavenge here a little bit. Nice to be able to use uh, like three things now. We got the crowbar, we got strong and light source, and it's relatively safe. Found something. Let's see what we found. We found another shoe, 85%. Oh, yeah. Now we can have matchy, matchy hiking boots, and they're both about equal. I'm going to go ahead and eat this Twinkie. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the uh, crackers. Not that hungry. Um, not much else here. Makeshift sack, but it's not in good condition, so we'll leave that behind. Okay. All right. If I'm at camp here, do I have any options? No, it's just ground. All right. Well, we need to find somewhere to sleep for the night. I think I want to kind of circle back and start heading back north again. I'll kind of come down this way and then maybe cut across and kind of go up that way. And then kind of work my way over towards the glow or work down towards the glow. I'll come back up here. Maybe I'll run into that dog man up here somewhere. And then head towards the glow. Or Detroit, whatever you want to call it. That's the plan. So I will uh I'll see if I bump into anything else at this point. Alright. I figured you guys probably would want to see me exploring a new area, so I changed my mind. I didn't go the very far, I just went from the fairgrounds over here to where I'd already kinda of crossed through. I got into a fight with like one feral dog. That was it. Took care of that, that's no worries. So I did find uh there was Nowhere to sleep there, but um, I did find here. There's like multiple options here, so we got pretty decent accommodations. That uh, storage shelter is going to be really good, and I'll, I'll set up noise traps. I have plenty of stuff for noise traps, so let's go and scavenge, and then I will get some good sleep here. Well, oh, I've already been here then, apparently. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get an uh, early night's sleep then, because we are pretty tired, so. I want to do that, and I can build some noise traps here. I just want to see this pill bottle. I don't think it even matters. You know what? Screw it. What, whatever you. No, because then I'd have to carry it. Okay. Just let me do it this way. Well, uh, yeah, let's let's use the pill bottle, I guess. If you can. Can I make another one? Uh, water bottle. I think that had water in it, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll drink some. It should be probably on the ground now, right? Yeah, there it is. We'll, we'll drink that real quick. We're thirsty anyway. All right, so we got three noise traps. Let's go, let's go ahead and drop these down here. Again, no sleeping bag, but everything's pretty decent, and we should be alerted if anything comes at us. Um, I will go ahead and preemptively drop that. In case we do get attacked, I don't have to drop my sled. Uh, we'll hide tracks and we'll hide. We're in good health. Five turns. Um, let's go ahead and sleep. Still, uh, still nighttime, so I'm gonna sleep again. Oh, sorry. I want to look at our health is pretty good. Like, no ailments at all. Let's just continue to sleep. Did that break? I think that broke. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and sleep. Should be okay with two noise traps. Yeah, I think I'm just waking up due to the insomnia. Let's keep going, though. Yeah, it is now dawn, and we woke up. Wonderful. Look, we're well-rested. Well Everything's green, looking good. Um, I don't think I explored this area too much here. I think I kind of hit this one and then came over here, made water, and kind of headed over this way. So I probably need to check these out a little bit. Maybe one of these is like the ATN. 
enclave or something. They kind of look generic, though. I don't think that's going to be the case, but let's go ahead and uh, let's deconstruct those noise traps. You know what? We can carry them. Let's just carry them now that we have the sled. Really no need to keep deconstructing them. We'll take that with us, and uh, I'll put the string where it needs to go. With a spot for it there, okay. And some glass shards, we can stack those there. Perfect, looks pretty good. And I'll probably put a box here just for loose items, small items that might need a home. Now, 86% condition on those binoculars, is that better than what I got? No, mine are 98.6, haha. <laughs> we have our sled, and we are ready to continue exploring, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I've already been here. That's why there's no scavenge option here. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I must have hit this one and then this one. Let's spin it. Alright, well, let's keep... Uh, now that we have a nice sled to carry around, for a little while at least, let's keep exploring. Oh, chips. And yeah, we got chips. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat. And then we'll make some uh, foil out of that. Oh, we got some more fresh rags and some amoxicillin. Some more amoxicillin. Just a bottle. Some jelly belly uh, bears. We'll eat those. Some ketchup packets. Eat those right now. All this scavenging for food makes me hungry. Real life. Go have some of my wife's chili. Okay. Well, let's take this. Um, not like that. Let's uh, take this, rotate it. And we're going to have a few left over. That's okay. We'll change out this. I guess it was clean already. Do I need anything? I don't need anything. Yeah, I don't need to cover any wounds, so I have an abundance of or an embarrassment of riches here with the uh, uh, bandages. That's okay. Alright, that works. And then we'll take the uh, water purification tab or tablets. I think it's just one. Put that in there. Is there something else? I thought there was something else, but maybe not. I think it was... Uh, what was it? It was something... It was a thyroid medication. That's what it was. So, anyway. Yeah. Why can't I get that to fit in there anymore now? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to eat this piece of meat before it goes bad. Because it's condition 49. Yeah. And we're a little hungry. We can go ahead and eat that. Help with our thirst as well. Not that that's a big deal. But it does make a little extra room for us. And we can make that fit. Okay, this is so disorganized. I can't stand it. Alright, much better. Put these tarps over here. Foiled again. Yeah, that's the, the guy with the tin foil, which we now have a recipe for. Put this down here for a noise trap as well. And, oh, I need to break that down. That tin foil. Or the bag. Any more tin foil. Might be able to make the suit now, can I? Let's see. Where am I at? Ooh, I think I can. Let's see if we can make this thing. I hope it's not too huge. Let's see what it looks like. A tin foil. It's back one. Foil poncho. Yes! It's worth four dollars. The question is if I make it now, but I don't wear it. It's, it, it's so much better just to keep the tinfoil where they're at, you know, because look at how big this is. And look compared to this. So I will just hold on to the ingredients. And I heard you need two of these. So I don't know if, like, on the way in it gets destroyed and then on the way back out it gets destroyed by the same things or or what. But I'm going to make two of those before I head up, up to uh, Grayling when that time comes. So we won't do it now, but it's nice to know we can. It takes 20 threads. So I'm going to need to grab a, another bunch of threads which isn't a big deal we can just get that from tearing up uh, cloth but we'll start uh, collecting again here for the next uh, next batch of foil I think we can put yeah we can put that that's right sled you can carry anything on and we'll start collecting some threads as well we'll carry some wood that's not much but you know what? I'll stop next time I now oh, here we go yeah I already got it I already got some wood don't need it don't need that and I think I have kindling somewhere if not that will be pretty easy to come across 
Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep uh, let's keep scavenging here. Nothing useful. Okay. Oh, it's a locked shed. Okay. Well, not trapping. We want strong and so there we go. I got an arrow, four arrows. I gave up. Oh, and two uh, two more lighters. Yep. Ooh, a light. Too many lighters. <laughs> let's see if I can organize this there. Ugh. Lighters spread everywhere. Ammo mixed around. It's ugly. along the side here if I can. You know what? Let's put two down here in our pockets. That way, if something happens to the sack or my pants, at least I still have the ability to loot really well. Sort of spread the risk out a little bit. I don't need any more long threads, so I think we will be good there. Still looking for some more chunks of hide to make another patchwork hide glove. I think that'll just help me out in combat a little bit, to stay protected. Especially on my arms. Oh, let's unhide. We want trouble to find us. Oh, oh, oh! That's what I want. I want you. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, dog man. There he is. There he is. Alright, let's go get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. He's 26 uh, range. Yeah, it's 20, 26, so we have plenty of time to drop our sled. And then, uh... We'll get behind cover. I, I don't think this really matters. He, did he? He left me. Don't you? Don't you disappear? You stay right there. I'm coming for you. I know where you are. Yeah, I'm getting behind cover. He's running for me. This. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. Three. All right. Finally. He's coughing blood. He's getting hurt. He ran away. He ran away. Oh, he's dead. Never run. But he ran away. I got him in the head. He died of a severe traumatic brain injury. Okay, good. His soul ran away. All right. Let's well, we can make a coat now, so that's good. And uh, we don't need any meat. We're not that hungry, so just take one of these. Shard is. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect shard. 0.1% condition. And let's make sure we use our trapping skill. There we go. That's what we want. That dog man fur coat. Clear that off. Grab that fur coat. Put it somewhere. Oh, yeah. I got to grab my sled. Oh, I ran away from my sled. Where did I leave my sled at? Here? Yeah. That's where I left it. I think. Nope. Not there. But there are some sterilized water I can drink. I, I got a little overzealous with the pursuit. There it is. All right. All the stuff's still there. Cool. Luckily, no, uh... All right. Let's head back to Z the dog man's, uh, X up here. Stay away, melon. Melon head. Wait, that wasn't it. Or was it? Was it here? Must have been here. There's gonna be a melon head wearing a for a coat here in a second. Okay. All right, it fits. So, can't really fit too many more of them in there, but that one fits. So, yeah, there's the glow down there. Well, maybe, I don't know. Kind of work my way that way, I guess. All right, let's give it a shot. How's my spear doing? 36%. It's still doing all right. Hmm. Do I want to take some and make some food or just keep hunting um we can always take a couple and then if we need to uh, drop them we can like if they spoil oh it got dark where was i at let me think i'm in oh i'm in a hex because i'm i can scavenge here right i'm inside of one is it dark already oh no i know what it is i'm in the wrong part of the map there it is okay like man night night got here quick there wasn't much uh much evening. Could go over here and cook them up. Wouldn't probably be the worst idea. Let's do that. That shouldn't take too long. 
I don't want to make the fire now. I only have one move left. What time of day is it? Daytime. A scavenger, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Got a drop of water. A two drops of water. <laughs> Let's just destroy that, because I don't know if it's safe or not. And I have plenty of water. All right, well, now that we have zero moves left, let's go ahead and end our turn. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves up a uh, campfire. Friction fire here. We should have five more of these sticks. Or, yeah, we got a lot. That's right, because we're sitting in a forest. all we need okay good enough uh let's take this over here i'm only planning on taking three pieces of meat so really that's all i need kind of went overboard with the ashes this time all right perfect uh i think that's about all i want All right, we're good. We got some meat for the road. Um, yeah, let's go down here and check out this little spot. Another melon head. Oh, I didn't see much there that looked interesting. Nah, not much. Nothing. That's a, it's been a while since I've had nothing. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Evening time. There's a house in the woods. Let's see if we can actually access it or not. No, I don't get it. I don't know why I can't stay in those houses. All right, well, I can always go straight over here and stay there or here, I think. So basically, I go down these hexes. This should be glowing at nighttime if I get stuck out here at dark, so I'm just going to head back a little bit if I get stuck out at night. Alright, let's go ahead and try to scavenge here a little bit. Hmm, lockpick uh, tools, which I really can't use. They're not worth much either. So, let me see. Threads? Do I have there? Nah. Pretty good on everything else. Yeah, I don't need that. Nothing in the blue jeans. Yeah, our pan's about ready to go. It was at 1.1%. Oh, it's still at 1.1% condition. Never mind. I was looking at the value. What was that, six cents? Yeah, <laughs> six cents. I should have grabbed the pan while I, or uh, a pot while I was at the uh, potter pan or whatever. While I was at the uh, fair. You know, there had to be some in the antiques area. I'm just going to keep kind of moving here. Hopefully find something worthwhile. Ah, here we go. Good timing. And we got a couple little options here. Hopefully they let us stay in one of these buildings. Rifle strap, another lighter. I think I'm done picking up cigarette lighters, honestly. They're not that, they're not worth that much. Another one. I, literally, I just said I'm done. Let, let's get rid of our lowest one. 28%. I mean, they last a long time. It's 7%, 14%. Okay. We'll start upgrading them as we go at this point. And probably... Oh, we got... Uh, yeah, I need to start collecting more foil, don't I? Yep, that was that was my goal. And uh, string. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't want to get too, over, uh, too, too heavy, though. Because I can make string anywhere. I can find cloth anywhere. So I think I'm just going to kind of leave that until I really am, like, real close to camp grayling and then I'll make both suits and go from there all right let's go and keep looting here a little bit of cola that's a crappy uh, hoodie not worth anything and yeah nothing else okay can we actually stay in somewhere here yes we can the IT building wonderful finally still haven't found a uh, backpack that is incredible. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I should have 
Noise traps, right? Yeah, I think they're over here. Yeah, I got two. I can make a third. Let's go ahead and make a third just to play extra safe. Because whenever I cut corners, this game will get you. Not enough... Not enough uh, action points left to craft there, so... Can I make it? Oh, I want to make it out of that empty... There we go. I just prefer to have it that way. That's it's just my preference. All right, so we're fully defended. Our, our alarm system is fully in place. Uh, we're well rested. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and sleep. I'm trying to get thirsty. It's uh, that time. I'm going to go ahead and hide the tracks. And Well, I'll, I'll unhide, but we'll hide the tracks. Go and get a drink here. Oh, hold on. It's the wrong. There we go. I was using the transfer shortcut. Alright, we're in good shape. No ailments, no injuries. Doing pretty well. Spear's still doing good. 76% condition on that, 41 on that, and then 36 on that one. And we still have all these pockets available here, these little secret pockets. I might use those for my lighters, honestly. Get these out of the way. I think I actually have... No, I got one too many, don't I? Nope, two too many. Okay. Okay, good. There we go. I feel a little bit better now. Still waiting to randomly find another chunk of hide. It seems like you can sometimes just find one laying around somewhere. So let's get the uh, let's get some more sleep here. Probably gonna say I'm not. Yeah, I'm not tired enough to fall asleep. Uh, intern. Intern. Clean rags has fallen apart. So now they're dirty. So these are dirty now. I don't think that really matters up here, but uh, we have plenty of clean rags. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Switch it out. Just to be extra safe. Yeah, water purification. Again, I don't... I, I'm, I'm actually going to keep that down here. I don't really consider that. Nothing I could really trade, is there? Yeah, I got that big dog man coat. It's taking up quite a bit of inventory space up here. I could probably organize better, though. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn again. All right, daytime. And let's see where we are here on the map. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let's uh, kind of want to head where I'm up north, south. I don't know where I want to head. Eh, let's just keep going. I'm going to start heading towards Detroit. That's where I'm heading. Shouldn't take us too long, actually, as long as we're healthy and we can move five paces at a time. Keep scavenging as we go. Eh, we finally found a sleeping bag, but it's gargantuan, and I'd rather just not use it at all. So I'm going to leave that behind. Well, we already know how to make the patchwork hide, hide glove, but uh, lock picks, oil scraps. I'm just going to put these in here that way. He said need it for some reason. There it should be now in our inventory. Or in our crafting recipe book. Okay, another bag of chips. Oh, here we go. We'll use our map just to change it from Glow to uh, Detroit. There should be Detroit Mega City Gates. Yep. All right. Nice huge backpack, but uh, ours is in much better condition. Uh, nothing in that first aid kit. And ours is in better better condition also. But we will tear up those uh, that chip bag and take this foil, add it to our pile. We're going to have... Yeah, we're going to actually have enough for the... How many do we need? Oh, no, we need 60, don't we? For each suit. Okay, yeah. 
But we're well on our way. Didn't take too long. So let's go ahead and... Got not enough moves to craft. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that before we do anything else, before I forget. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. Grab some string if we have it. I could tear this up in the string, but eh, yeah, what the heck. Let's do it. Dirty rags. Oh, I thought it tore I thought that tore up in the string. Apparently not. Any random yeah, we got these cargo pants. Do that. Get five string out of that. Good enough. Every little bit helps. We're getting close. We need twenty string. Plus uh, 60 more foil, and uh, we should be good. And a pointy object, which Leatherman or the uh, Shard of Glass would be just fine. Okay. Yep. We can still scavenge. Yes, we got some more buildings to check out. Oops. There we go. What did I get there? Don't need that. Here's our more, more string that we needed. Perfect. We're good there. And I think that's it. A tarp. I don't have any. Do I have? Yeah, I got three tarps. Never mind. I don't feel like grabbing more tarps. $35 for that, $24 for that. It'd be nice, but uh, yeah, we don't have the room. So, Wait a minute, let me check this out. It's 91% condition. It's so much better than what I got. Upgrade time. Okay, let's keep looking here. Ideally, find some ammo. Start trading off some ammo. Or the, what's this? Pill organizer. Oh, it's got pills in it, too. I'm not sure what they are. But we can put it in here. Unidentified pills. Worst comes to worst, and I'm dying. I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. All right. More pills. Wow, this person. This is empty. Where are we going to put this? What should we put here? I don't really like that. Though. I don't like that at all. Let's move this up here. Transfer that. Transfer that. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I'm supposed to be going here. Was that everything? Seems like there was something else. Oh, this one. There we go. Okay. More foil. I think we have enough now, don't we? Nope. We're still gathering. Still gathering foil. Okay. Everything else looks fine. Let's keep going. How's our sled doing? 23% condition. Okay. Last place to live here. Hasn't been too bad here. Another pot. Exactly what we needed. Wonderful. We're doing the arch was at 1.1 condition, so we're going to get rid of that. Get the 48.6% condition, and we should be good at this point. And we got another multi-tool, which I think that one is even better than what we have now. What we upgraded to. No, that's 91. Never mind. But it's worth a lot, so we'll take that. It's worth $30, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of inventory space. That one's only worth 10 Eh, we'll take it, and if we need to drop it, we can. I really want to take... Oh, I need to find that mummy bag. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Really taking a roundabout route here. Hunting rifle, and he's at it long range. Uh, get behind cover, sir. Bad mother. And he's not friendly at all. And uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this guy. He hasn't started shooting, so it makes me think. Probably doesn't have ammo for it, but... Uh, last time I... I think I thought that. I got shotgun blasted in the head. So that, that wasn't fun at all. We want to advance one. Here we go. Let's go fight this guy. Oh, he man, that was quick. I must have landed some. I shredded his lower left lung with a broad spear. Oh, wow. He became crippled. He's stunned. He's unable to move. He's bleeding. He's got to be cough, coughing up blood. All right, let's just kill him. He's fallen. He's... Yeah, he's in bad. He's dead. He's, he's not going to survive this. Oh, that's worth a lot of money. 80% condition? 
no ammo either, and that's it's just straight up how much that is worth. And we got ourselves a free patchwork hide to glove, and there's two of them. Let's see which one's better condition. We'll take this one. Put that on. Now we have a 98 percenter and a 53 percenter. All right, that works. And he had a sleeping bag, but it's the wrong kind. Just don't have the room for it. We'll take that. We're gonna be trading that plus that. All right, now I'm really anxious to get to uh, Detroit. We'll come back and find this base thing, this unicorn base I keep talking about. All right, here. I'm looking here at the clock. I'm going to have to end this episode here. Uh, pretty good recovery. So we're back at it. Found some fairgrounds where the melon heads all like to live. And uh, we're on our way down to Detroit. We'll see what we can uh, find on the way there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.